Hey guys, I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram and the amount of questions I got, I was shook. I feel like I touch on some of these on my TikTok, but I don't really get in depth. And so we're gonna do it here for the YouTube lovers. I wrote all of your questions down on my handy dandy. So I'm just gonna answer a few and I'm gonna try and be quick with them. Some deep, some chill. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off with a silly little, silly little one. Someone asked, what are your icks? And I feel so passionate about this one because this is kind of like my only ick. It disgusts me. When a guy I like or a guy I'm talking to calls me Ari, something about the nickname when you're like a romantic partner literally makes my skin crawl. Call me Ariella, baby. Like when all my friends call me Ari and you call me Ari too, I'm like, <gasps> oops, no, no. Someone else asked, how long have you been living on your own and how did you start saving? I would say I'm really good with money. I never really spend money. I, I'm more healthy with it now to where I can spend it and feel okay about it. Back when I was in Texas, I would get my paycheck and I would save it forever and ever and ever and just never spend it. I would spend on like things that I needed and like clothes here and there, but I never made a big purchase. My first big purchase that I ever made was here. I bought a car. I've been living on my own officially for a year now. The best decision ever. Recently though, a couple months ago, I got a roommate. Y'all have seen her on my videos. It's just been awesome. I'd say if you're planning on moving out, get a good like three months of rent saved. That way when you're in your apartment, you don't, you're gonna feel comfortable to be there and not feel like you're immediately having to scramble for money to pay rent. One piece of advice I'd say is life is never gonna go perfectly the way you want it to go. So you can't expect for something to be perfect for you to do something about it because it will never be perfect. When I lived in Texas, I was like, oh, when I got this amount of money, then I can go. But once I did get that amount of money, something else came up. And so I was like, if I'm just expecting for this perfect day, I'm never gonna leave. So just do it and believe in yourself. And you've got this, you've got this girl. Someone asked how to wake up early in the morning. Set those alarms, set those alarms, get your coffee. I, if I didn't have coffee, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm very all or nothing, I'm black or white. If I tell myself the night before you're going to the gym at 5 a.m., then I will do it. I'm just that type of person, like I'm all or nothing. Like if I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna say it in my head. I'm not gonna tell myself I will do it. Like coffee, alarms, alarms, coffee. That's really all you need. Favorite makeup product. I have all of it linked. I have my whole routine linked in my storefront if you wanna look at it, it's in the bio. I think my favorite product is the Great Skin from Merit. It's an instant glow serum. So I wouldn't even consider it really makeup, but it does give you a little bit of a tint and a glow. So every morning I put this on and this is my favorite. It's in my Amazon if you wanna look at it. How did you deal with making friends in a new city? When I applied for Brandy, I already had two other jobs. All work from home, so the only reason I started working at Brandy was because I wanted to make friends. If you're moving to a whole other state and you don't know anyone, just start like literally just make friends with people at your work and then go from there. Also, if you have a roommate, go out to places, go to coffee shops, go to restaurants, go, go out, be friendly, be open to making friends. That's what I had to do. It was uncomfortable for a little bit and it didn't take, it took me a while to actually be close friends with them. But if I can do it, you can do it because I'm an introvert. Someone said, was it hard moving from Texas to OC? I just packed up all my clothes in like five suitcases. I got my cat and I just moved. It was so easy. My mom came with me. It was just aligned. It was meant to be. And I'm just so, so grateful for that. I'm gonna answer like one more about moving because I feel like I talk so much about moving. Someone said, tips on moving out alone with new roomies. My first year in college, I lived in a dorm and I, my roommate was someone that I met once, but I did not know at all. I literally did not know this girl. We became best, she's literally my best friend. It's gonna be weird at first. Like I remember we talked about our first day moving in with each other and we talked about it like a year down the line. I was like, yeah, I would like, I was really homesick and I didn't know you. So I would like put the covers over my face and just cry and she was like, no way because I literally did the same thing. So it's crazy that we were both under the sheets like What seven feet away crying and we were just like felt so alone But like if we would have talked about it, we would have been like I'm in the same boat Like you got me girl and we grew to be best friends So it might be awkward at first and weird at first, but just 
be open to making friends. As long as you're open and you're nice and you're caring and you're a light, you're gonna bring in friends. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be fun. It's a new chapter in your life. Just have fun and do your thing, girl. Let's get into some other deep questions. Someone says, what is your dream career? Someone else said, where do you wanna be in five years? I've always wanted to do this. It sounds so crazy and cringy, but I have wanted to do this for so long and I felt in a rut doing it back where I used to live. And I just have this whole like new world opened up for me and Brandy really helped me with that. I don't know exactly, but I know that I wanna do something with a platform and I'm just like, I see myself growing and you guys growing with me and just building. I just see so much for myself. Like shoot for the stars and when you get there, keep going, go further. That's my thing. I don't have an end goal. If you have an end goal, you can never go up from there. Someone said, what helps you to stay so productive and motivates you every day to stay busy? But like I said, I'm all or nothing and I am so motivated by be, like success and wanting to be successful in every type of way. Like what does success mean to me? Like obviously in the money sense, but also health and like happiness and just, just being overall feeling accomplished. And so if I set my mind to it, I'm gonna do it. If you struggle with that, just try and like, try with little things, little wins every day. Like tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna do my laundry then do your laundry and then be like, I did that. Like literally I did that and yes you did, period. Once you start building up those little things of confidence of like proving to yourself that you can do what you said you're gonna do, then move on to bigger things and just grow and grow and grow. Hype yourself up. Like y'all know I'd be hyping myself up every day. You better believe I am my biggest hype man. I'm in the, besides my roommate, <laughs> I'm literally in the mirror like, girl, you got this. Delusional. I'm delusional, I'm delulu, but it helps me to go further and push further. And I'm gonna be delusional to the end, period. One of you friends, I'm moving from Portugal. Yes, you are, girl. You are doing that. Like, I'm proud. And yes, I wanna be friends, okay? Friends forever, friends for lifers. Fun fact, I know the alphabet in sign language. I learned in third grade, period. Someone said, how tall are you? These group of girls met me the other day and they were like, we thought you'd be so much taller. Like you're you're kind of short. I'm five six and a half. I'm five seven, okay? No, I'm five six, but like guys, I'm not five six. Like I'm five seven. Somewhere when I went to go get my when I went to care now to get my physical, they messed up because I'm five ten. Okay. What's your style and spell? Pinterest, like literally anything that I see on Pinterest, I'm like, if I like it, I put it to my board. I used to post a lot on Pinterest and I have abandoned it completely. Like I just take random things from random things and come up with my thing. Someone asked, are you finding making YouTube vids and TikToks a bit stressful? At first, yes, but now I have a lot of free time and so it's like my favorite thing to do. I love filming and I love editing. I love coming up with concepts and being creative, so I love to do it and that leads me to probably my most asked question, the Brandy question. When did you start working at Brandy? I started last year on Halloween. How long do you see yourself working at Brandy? Well, there's always something short-lived in my brain. Like I said, I started working at Brandy to make friends and I didn't have a ton of time to stay there because I also had other jobs. As I moved up in my position, I freed up my time. I mean, other jobs took on less responsibility at my other jobs so that I could be at Brandy. I made like one TikTok about a refresh at Brandy and that popped off. I started making a lot of like refresh vlogs and like Brandy Melville vlogs and those also I'm sure y'all have seen them. They Those did perform very well. As I kept moving up and my videos kept getting more recognition, it got recognition from people and fans of Brandy and like random people and everything, but it also got recognition from like upper management at Brandy Melvin. They didn't love that I was posting what I was posting, so I had to dial it down. And then I was moving up in my position and it was to where I like, I wasn't really able to post Brandy videos anymore. I recently left Brandy and it's not because I don't like Brandy or anything like that. I literally just don't have time to be a Brandy and it's also because I couldn't film anything anymore and I'm so like career driven and goal driven and I wanted to think bigger picture for me 
and Brandy in my head was just a short-lived little job that I got on the side to make friends and I made my friends and I had fun but it was time for me to move on and just focus on like bigger and like brighter and like just really push myself to figure out exactly what I want to do and just grow and like I have the platform now to do it do something that I've always wanted to do which is like film and edit and like just have a community of people with me i know you guys like the vlogs but i want to continue making vlogs i just want to grow and be bigger and just like make more vlogs and now i have more time i want to push out more youtube once i got kind of like the told that i couldn't make videos anymore it was kind of scary because i was like that's all people wanted to see and then i started pushing out like days in my life and like my routines and everyone loved those too and so I don't know, it's like scary to say, but I just hope you guys still like wanna see me grow and we go together. I didn't see myself staying at Brandy for longer than, than I have. We're still gonna be Delulu and crazy and make crazy vlogs. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do, where I should go, I'm, I can go anywhere. You want me to go to San Diego tomorrow? I'm on my way. You want me to go to Europe? Give me, give me a couple months. I'm on my way, girl. Whatever you want me to do, I'm, I can do. And I will do and I want to do. Hey guys. I'm editing right now. My phone kept running out of storage, so I had to keep stopping the video. And then I was forgetting what I was saying. I don't know why this sounds like such a sad video. It's not sad. I just, I think I get, I'm getting in my head about like, oh my word, like people, don't care about you. But like, I know, I know, I don't know. I feel like the best is yet to come, like for real. Like for real, I feel it in my bones, like the best is yet to come. And like, I'm excited for this new chapter. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking cause I don't know what I'm saying and I'm gonna just let it rest. Um, thank you guys for watching this video and a lot more videos are to come. Okay, my phone keeps running out of storage, so I gotta go. I'm gonna call you guys back soon. Be sure to answer. I love you. Bye.